All right, open up Blockbench, modded entity. Let's make this flea. Okay, add a cube. Please done. Create texture. Don't click template. Do not click that. Make it pink. I'll tell you why in a second. Confirm. Got a pink flea. Save it. Save project as. Save all this stuff. Save project. Save project as. And import. I'm sorry. Export the Java entity. All right. Now, I'll show you what you can do with this. Let's get into um, a creator. All right. Once you're back in M creator and you've created the flea, living entity, create the flea, make sure you click off, enable spawning. Click that off. Now, go to triggers, create a new procedure. Now, this is the procedure right here. How to make this. Click on uh, procedure templates. Check if current NT is player. Click on procedure templates. Um, do with 70% chance. All right, put that one there. As you see, I'm building it right now. I don't think that you'll need this part, but you can add it just in case. It's... Uh, it's for the server side, but I'm not sure if you're going to need that. I just put that on there just to cover, cover it. Um, all right, so now you're going to get the, uh, the structure spawn procedure. Right? Put that in there. Now you want to uh, despawn the flea so it doesn't create another doesn't just keep creating uh, buildings. You just want one. So you're going to go to um, flow control. Wait. Then despawn. Yep. Use this uh, search procedure. Um, Block right here. Oh gosh, this thing is great. Just use that. Just put a couple of letters and you'll find stuff. All right. There's the procedure right there. We just build it. As you can see, I just have on, on this one particularly, I have just one extra uh, one extra spawn. So you can put a bunch here. You can't put too much, but you can put a lot. I put uh I'll show you my dungeon. Right? So you change that to one because you want it despawn right away right all right so i'm gonna leave this here put this down here put my back all right okay you can do this procedure for dungeons villages everything i mean everything but there's a, tr a twist to it if you want them to get flat and i mean real flat and be 100% flat. All right, one thing before you get started, make sure your trigger is not on. Make sure it's off. Don't put the trigger on there yet. I'll show you why. So I'm gonna duplicate this one. This is my test one to show you guys. So take the trigger off. No procedure. Save. Now um, you want to start Minecraft. This is my one of my dungeons, right here. And I got I got them going both directions, right? Both directions. And you see, uh, that is one of my other dungeons over there that uh, spawns in my world. Okay, I'll show you how I did this. So you go here and you, you save, you save, click on this so you get save and you save your structure how you want it. 
You go watch another tutorial how to do that. I'm just showing you how to do my structure gen. This is this is pretty basic stuff, so you can learn that from another tutorial. But what you do is I take dirt block. I use dirt block because it's the most common block you'll see in Minecraft. I take that flea I made. All right, follow me here. Take that flea. Take that flea. Put it right there. Save structure. Sorry. One, two, one. Yep, there you go. Now you're going to save the structure. Click save. Name it whatever you want, obviously. Click save. Now, what's going to happen is this thing, this structure gen is going to pop this thing up. And on the entities update tick, as soon as you get to 2000, it's going to pop up. You're never going to see it. And the reason I make it pink is if you do see it and it's not working, at least it's easy to find somewhat. I mean, I've always found one that's not working, but it's going to work if you do it right. All right. So let's, um, let's do the next step here. All right. Now that you're back in M creator here, um, Put the procedure on the flea that you made. Um, make sure you got your structures imported. You want the um, you want all the structures that you make imported. See mine, even the fleas. So I got the fleas here. So when you make a structure spawn make the structure spawn this right here is going to be the flea block that you made the one with just one block and a flea is going to be here right here see this says flea bandit house three spawn i'm not sure what the three uh, three i think it means just three three uh mobs mobs are in there right and then on this right here is spawn probability okay now, how I got this to work is I made a dimension. Which I've been... Okay, I got them like that. Yeah, I made a dimension here. One dimension. I changed the fluid block to path. Now, follow me here. I changed the fluid block to path. So, there is no water in my world at all. And what I do is I spawn everything on that grass path because in Minecraft, the, wa the water is flat. So anything that you, any fluid, any block that you put in the fluid block is going to be flat. Like you put dirt there, it's going to be, everything's going to be flat. So you go here to your structure gen, your structure gen um, file here and you, uh, it says restrict block types. You want that to path, grass path. You want to change that to path. You click on this, type path. That's going to be grass path. And then you want it to, obviously you want the world types. Now you can spawn it in the overworld, but it's not going to be flat, I don't think. Not like this. This is how I do it. It works wonderful for me. I mean, you can make huge massive spreads now you're probably going to get a low fps drop and stuff you got to be work with it and how you want to do it but so again fluid block make a dimension change the fluid block i made the path personally save it also uh when you make your biome you want the biome to be flat so zero zero Biome, so make a biome, go to biome generation, and you want biome base height zero. Now you can, I made big cliffs um, in one of my biomes and it, everything's fine, but you know, basically you want it as flat as possible. Um, 
So for example, I made like maybe 20 biomes, 15 biomes, and only one of them has cliffs. And it, it looks nice like that. Okay, so um, after you've done all that, and you got the flea spawner that you made, a structure spawn, you got it in here with the block and the flea. Click save. I'll show you how this thing works. I hope you guys are following me. This is, I know it might be confusing. I try to make this the least confusing as possible. All right. All right, so let me show you. All right, this is going to be an overview. Okay, so you see right there, this would have been a lake, pond, something. So I filled that in with uh, dirt or a gra path, I'm sorry. So you can see this is path. This, this should be water right here. So that's the only down um, thing. Con one of the cons about this is uh, you're not gonna have water. There's other ways to put water in your game, uh, but you can see right here, like this spawn, look, this spawn flat. Um, again, this is path. This should be water, right? And so I also have like little, um, you know, little nodes here, like in Rust and other survival games. And how I got this to work like this is, so, um, on the distance it spawns in. So I had it at 2,000. This one's at 2,500. This one spawns in first out of everything I have spawned in. Let's say there's there's like a hierarchy or a tier system to this. So I'll have this one spawn in, let's say, at, at, at 2,100, right? 2,100. So... This will spawn on top of this if uh, all the time if this spawns in after that. I hope you guys this makes sense. Now I have my towns, my large towns spawning in at 1700, 1800, 1500 blocks, which means they will overlap both of these. They're more important, they're a little bit more rare, and I want to make sure they always spawn in. So I have them spawning in closer about now i'm talking about inside the procedure here and i'll show you at the very end of this video what i'm talking about again we'll do another do a quick overview on top of this one so um again this is this is path this should be water this is these are biomes i made obviously Let's see if i can find something else here yep spawn the same thing spawn right on that right on that path block and i got him i got him you know it's i mean it's flat now some things i don't have spawning on the path block to make it a little you know like this i don't think spawning on the path block oh this is a dungeon okay see here's a dungeon that just spawned And I'll show you how I can show you guys this. All right. This is a dungeon I made. Real dark. But you see, I use no air, no void blocks. These are the, these are actually, I'm glad I'm showing you this. This is actually those uh, little strips of dungeon that I showed you earlier in the video. Right? You may go this way, that way, and you can connect them. No air, no void. Super easy. Um, now, um, let me show you uh, uh, the procedure again. All right, here's the final overview on the procedure. Okay, so uh, make sure the random is one. That means 100%. This will give it some more flexibility. If you want to make it more rare, you can change that number, make it less. Now, this is my lead deposit. The one I was showing you earlier in the video, I said it was iron. 
You see this is at 3,000? 3,000? This is my dungeon. This is my dungeon. 1,700. And this is my town. 1,500. So these town and the dungeon will always overlap the lead. So there won't be a lead deposit sitting in the middle of town looking weird. So there's a tier, a hierarchy system to it that makes it even more flexible, plus the random. And if you see, here's my town. This is, these are 48s. This, these are 48 tiles. So that's one, two, um, I think that's, I'm sorry. That's, that's three 48s, 48 by 48 by 48 tiles, I think, and a tower and a cabin. Uh, I like to keep it around two or three when the towns, like two or three, 48 by 48 by 48. Two or three is fine. You don't want to get too laggy. Um, again, make sure that's one. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, one final thing. This, this is a good example of, of it being too big. I had to shrink this down because it was too laggy. So this went all the way out to, this was far, but the th my problem was it went, it, cr it went this way and then it went that way all the way. I mean, it was X, X and Z. It was real far X and real far Z. So it was too big and then I shrunk it up and this seemed to be more manageable. So if you can see it's, it's shorter and tighter. So uh, you want to be careful. You don't want to put too many, uh, torches in it you don't want to put too many um, campfires not too many spawners My, i suggest you make the hallway smaller than i did um yeah and that's about it that covers it i hope this is uh hope this helps you guys uh make your towns flat your dungeons good remember you don't need no air no void nothing uh gosh i think i've covered everything yeah so go make a dungeon should be easy after you figure this out. Uh, yeah, good luck. Thanks for watching.